Hey guys, this is Rick from Gorilla BI and in this video I will show you three ways in how you can add leading zeros to your numbers in Power Query. Stay tuned. So the case I want to show you today has to do with the months and the year. In your analysis, sometimes you want to show a year number, dash, and then the month after. That's very easy to do. To do that, you can click on the year, then select the month, and go to Add Column, click on Merge, and your numbers will be merged in the order that you click the column values. So the new column will be the year month column with a separator. Click OK, and here you have your merge column. There is one problem here though. If you would sort your column alphabetically, this is a text column, so it will be alphabetically, you will find that 2501 will come first and right after is the 10th month. And the reason for that is that it's looking as if it's text values. So the one comes first, and if there's a zero after, that's quicker than if the two comes. Uh, so, so this is a sort order that they, they do uh, because it's text. So to solve this, we can add a zero as a trailing number. And how you do that, uh, I'm gonna show you three different ways. Uh, the first way will involve you to, will involve adding a custom column here. And in this custom column, we're gonna manually add a zero as text. Then what we do is we have to add the month as text as well. Well, right now it's showing the month as a number. So if I would write the ampersand and say month, we're gonna get an error here because they cannot apply the operator, uh, the ampersand to types text and number. So to fix that, you just go in here and you say text.from text month. So here you'll have the, the leading zero, but one problem is still there. If your cell contains two numbers, it will also have a leading zero. And you only want this leading zero if there is a single value in there. So a single digit value. So what we can then do is we could say this entire value that we have, we can write text end, and we just take the last two values. That's version one. This is not the ideal method to get your trailing, uh, trailing zeros. The second method is preferred. So the second method would be, we're gonna add another column and we're gonna introduce a, 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 a formula that's called text pet start. Oh, let me just take the text part away here. So the text pet start function requires you to have three arguments. The first argument is the text that you wanna have. So for example, I could have the month then they want to know how many characters your formula needs to have, uh, your result. So do I want a number with a single digit, two digits, three digits? In our case, we said we want to have two digits in our numbers. So it's a two. And as a second argument, you can write if it has less than those two digits, which number would you like them to, or, or which character would you like them to add as a leading character? So we can have the zero here. Okay. Now, there is one problem here still. Again, it does not recognize the value 1 as a text. So again, we have to go in the formula and say text.from. Okay. And now you have your leading zeros as well. So this is version 2. And if you're really not comfortable with DAX, I'm going to show you a third way, which is not officially a different way than what we just did, but it's just another way in which you could approach it. So what you can do is you can select these columns, then in the add column box, you can go to column from examples and click on from selection. If you click from selection, it will look at the selected columns and then try to analyze with the AI in Power Query, it will try to analyze how they can form the result that you need. So if I write here, uh, for example, uh, zero one, they will add a zero. Uh, you will see the suggestion at the top and they will try to add the zero to each cell. So if you want it to be correct, you also have to go here so that when there's two digits, it can remain two digits. And in the top, you find that it does text pet start text from, and actually it's the same as what we did earlier. 
The only difference is that it also gives a local uh, culture character, which is not required. And another difference is that you don't have to write it from scratch. So you could press OK. Now, with either of these three methods, you could choose what you want to do. But then you can actually combine the year with one of these columns. So we could, for example, say the final result is text from the year. Then we include the ampersand and we include one of the columns that we just had. And then if you sort this one alphabetically, you'll find that it sorts just fine. And in those three ways, you can get your truly leading zeros in Power Query. Okay, those were the tips for today. I showed you three ways in which you could do the leading zeros in Power Query. There is not one preferred, but for me, I would have a preference to take the text pet start because the function is meant to do that. And if you want the trailing zeros, you could also have the text pet end. If you like to look into that, do it by yourself. It works just the same. And uh, yeah, if you, if you like these kind of videos, I will be posting more of this. So... YouTube has made it in a way that you only see the videos if you subscribe and click the bell button. So if you don't want to miss any of those, click on the bell button and I'll see you next time.